Hi, my name is Bailey Gordon, and I am here with Susan Van Ness, the Chief of Programs at National Diaper Bank Network. We are talking today about diaper need. Susan, what is diaper need? Hi, Bailey. So diaper need is simply the lack of an adequate supply of clean and dry diapers. Um, we know that not having a clean diaper one afternoon is one thing, um, but really not having a supply of diapers and having the security. Um, our research has shown that families that experience diaper need tend to run short on average seven diapers or seven diaper changes a week, um, or about 50 diaper changes a month. So uh, diaper need is not having a basic need met in a way that parents or caretakers can feel secure about having their children's needs met. What are the effects of diaper need? Families that experience diaper need, they're gonna have a hard time uh, with their weekly activities. Uh, getting to work is complicated when you don't have an adequate supply of diapers. It could be getting to appointments, even running errands. Like you can imagine if you live in an area where the weather changes and you're taking public transportation or relying on other people for rides uh, or just sort of working around a schedule where you're trying to get to the doctor, to the grocery store, um, and you're really kind of needing to think about where your diapers for the day are gonna come from for your baby, it makes it hard to leave the house. Um, babies need clean diapers to thrive and to learn. That's a baby's job. Um, so that's another effect of diaper need is that it can be distracting for a baby, of course, if he or she is sitting in a wet diaper or a dirty diaper. Um, we also don't want families to have to stretch out diapers if they don't have an adequate supply, and that could be an unfortunate effect of diaper need. Um, we hear stories about people using things to line diapers like newspapers, um, or using diapers, or just having to make choices between buying diapers and food one week, or paying a bill, or putting gas in the car to get to work versus maybe staying home because they don't have diapers to bring their children to daycare. How prevalent is diaper need? So we know that uh, in the United States, one out of three households struggles to afford diapers. And that's, that's a staggering number. Um, and it's, that is sort of the average across the country is one out of three households struggles to afford diapers for their children. And it doesn't take into any uh, consideration situational poverty, such as uh, when a disaster hits a region and people are suddenly uh, you know, thrown into a chaotic situation where they might also experience diaper need. Okay. When is diaper need considered met? Um, that's a great question. So just like we think that you know, diapers, diaper need isn't just uh, something that happens one day when you are when you you know forget your wallet at home or something like that. It's the adequate supply of diapers. So when parents can feel confident about meeting their kids' needs and having that adequate supply of diapers, newborns can need up to ten diapers a day, and then older children that are getting closer to ready to potty train, it might be lower around six. Uh, diapers a day and then they might have overnight. So when those needs are met, that's when, that's when diaper need is met. Do you feel like cloth diapers are a, Absolutely. a good option for families exper experiencing diaper need? We know that cloth diapers are an important part of the solution. There's no, there's no one solution for, there's so many different situations that families are in and cloth diapers when it works for families and when they have the opportunity to try them can be a wonderful, perfect solution. It's not for everybody. Cloth diapers worked for me personally when I experienced diaper need as a struggling single mother and having the security of knowing that my daughter's was always gonna have an adequate supply of diapers because I had cloth diapers and the house worked beautifully for me. I would love it if you could talk a little bit about 
how your program works because the cloth diaper option is a diaper program, but it also supports diaper banks, which is a really kind of a, a unique service that you're applying to this situation. Great. Well, um, at the cloth option, we give free, um, free cloth diaper packages to families experiencing diaper need. Um, if we don't have an advocate or volunteer near the um, the recipient family, we will ship the diapers at no charge to the family. Um, we did that on purpose to make sure that there is there are no barriers to the family in need. So they don't have to worry about, um, I have to cut back on food for a week so I can pay for my package or my shipment or anything like that. It's free to them. Um, no strings attached, just um, just to, to give them the chance. We know that cloth diapers aren't a good option for every family, but we feel that they are a good option for many, if not most families. Um, and we just want to be, we just want to provide cloth diapers to all families who want to give that a shot but don't necessarily have the money to um, make that initial investment and then start saving um, later on. So we give that free stash of cloth diapers and we do support the family. We give education, we provide um, troubleshooting if need be. Um, we just feel as an organization that by Supplying a family experiencing diaper need with a stash of cloth diapers, we are guaranteeing access to clean diapers for that family that they might not have if they were reliant on disposable diapers alone. Well, and we support families who may want to use cloth diapers um, full time, part time, or even just temporarily while they get out of a financial hardship. We're not here to tell families what to do. We just wanna provide them with another option if they would like to use it. With the stash of diapers that we provide families, um, you had mentioned that the average family is, the average family experiencing diaper need is about 50 diapers short. So even if they just used the cloth diapers and washed them three times per month, that diaper need would be met. And that is our overall goal. We're, you can use diapers, you can use cloth and disposable both, cloth only, disposable only. We just want to make sure that the babies who need diapers are clean, dry, and healthy. I love the work that the cloth option does to support diaper banks, and I wonder... Uh, if you could talk a little bit about that. Cloth diapers are, they have more of a learning curve than disposable diapers. Mm -hmm. um, but we provide all of the education needed. So when we're partnering with a disposable diaper bank or um, a provider, we, we take all of that off of them. We do our job, they can refer us, anybody can refer us to people experiencing the diaper need and we will provide um, education either online or in person if we are close to the recipient family or close to the diaper bank um, and the, and the um, volunteers or uh, employees if they want to get educated about cloth diapers, then we are there to provide that resource. Um, all across the country, we're hearing that disposable diaper banks are stretched to their limit. There's always more need for diapers, more, more, more. Um, so I think giving a supply of cloth diapers to families and allowing them to get out of the need of a constant supply of disposable diapers can actually take some burden off of the disposable diaper banks. We at NDBN, you know, our diaper banks, whether they're doing cloth or disposable diapers, we're working to provide as many uh, clean and dry days 
We're all working together to provide clean and dry days in a baby's life. 